the, the first way I was taught to defend the crab rad position is we gotta get our hips free, get our hips out of this uh, saddle, out of this pocket. So I've fought off, I've got inside here. Um, sometimes you don't necessarily have to be in, inside to, for this position to work. But first things first, I gotta push this knee down, open up this gap. I, I kind of turn into it, and I gotta keep my hips level. There's a lot of pressure here. I'll bring my butt right on top of it. All right, making sure I, I keep this still. And I'm opening my hips up, plant this leg. I like turning in, attacking the body. I'll come in, keep this leg split with my hand, a navy ride or arm turn situation. Here. So, we're in here. You don't necessarily have to be inside. If you are inside, it helps with the, your movement. But we're pushing this knee down. I like picking up the toes too here. We're pushing the knee down, sitting on it right away. I got nice bony hips, so whenever I do this, they love it. Pick going over, almost like a switch here. All right, so I'm elevating this leg. Come in. He's either gonna go try and fight in for his belly, or rolling away. I'm picking this far leg up, keeping these legs split, trying to get us some near fall on with that reversal. Um, any questions on it? I want to see you one more time. So, um, sometimes too, if they're not always up in here, they kind of have a loose, they just keep their knees tight, but their legs aren't out, all right? You need to turn in, pull the, these knees in. It'll help bring that knee, to, or bring the toes in. It'll help bring this knee down for you to sit, come around, keep hips up, move for you. Anything you want to add? No. Sounds like good. All right, let's do it.